multiple character consistency in Mid Journey, most creators think it's impossible. Omni Reference nails single characters, but maintaining multiple distinct characters in one scene, that's where everyone hits the wall. While others give up or settle for inconsistent results, I've cracked the code. Two techniques, the stitching method and strategic prompting. Together, they bypass Omni Reference's single image limitation completely. In this video, I'm showing you exactly how both work. Perfect multi-character consistency isn't just possible. It's about to become your new standard. The stitching strategy that changes everything. First, you'll create your characters individually. For example, I'll generate my first character with this prompt, a young girl inventor character in Pixar 3D art style, standing on a white background. She has big curious eyes, freckles, messy shoulder length hair tied up with pencils and wires, and wears oversized round goggles resting on her forehead. Her outfit includes a slightly oversized lab coat with rolled up sleeves, a tool belt filled with gadgets, and worn out boots. Then I'll create my second character, in this case the young girl's grandpa. Once I've got both characters looking perfect, here's where the magic happens. You take your two characters and put them side by side in one image. Yeah. It looks like a before and after weight loss ad at first, but trust the process. The key is making sure both characters are in the same art style. Can you see here? You might be thinking, won't this confuse mid-journey? And you'd be right. If you just upload this stitched image with a basic prompt like, make these characters fight a giant robot, you're going to get some Frankenstein level character mashups that'll make you question your life choices. The secret sauce, strategic prompting. For the next step, we're going to bring in ChatGPT as our prompt writing assistant. Why the hell, you ask? Writing these super detailed alternating character descriptions manually would take forever. And let's be honest, I messed up too when I first tried. ChatGPT helps you save a lot of time. I highly recommend using the custom GPT project from Glibitry called Glibitry Art Designer 2025. This thing is specifically trained to generate optimized mid-journey prompts for the newest models and can even show you variations right in ChatGPT. I've tested this against regular GPTs and honestly, the results from Glibitry are noticeably better. It just gets how to structure prompts for V7. Of course, you don't throw your stitched image into ChatGPT and ask for random prompts. The AI needs specific instructions on how to write prompts that work with Omni references and that that's where my sample prompt comes in. I've got the link in the description for free. This sample teaches ChatGPT the exact technique to prevent character confusion. Here's why this sample prompt is so damn effective. First, it tells ChatGPT that you've got two separate characters, not one weird blob. This sets the foundation for everything else. Then, it asks ChatGPT to notice all their differences and treat them as very distinct, basically training it to be hyper aware of character separation. The real genius is in the alternating description technique. My prompt instructs Chat GPT to switch back and forth between characters throughout the entire description, about eight lines ping-ponging between character one and character two. This creates balanced prominence so neither character gets overshadowed. So what's left? You take my sample prompt, copy it, paste it into ChatGPT, and upload your stitched image. That's it. ChatGPT will automatically generate four different prompts using this proven technique that works best with Omni references and version seven. Getting your settings dialed in. All right, you've mastered the art of prompting. Now let's get into the science of settings. Settings. After tons of testing, and I mean tons, I found that an Omni reference strength of around 400 out of 1000 hits that sweet spot perfectly. Why 400? Well, go too low and your characters start looking like distant cousins of what you wanted. The 400 setting gives you maximum character similarity without sacrificing that natural organic feel that makes your images pop. Solving the size problem. Here's something that'll drive you up the wall if you don't know about it. Omni references can get confused about character sizes. I've seen it generate scenes where the grandpa is smaller than the kid, or where characters randomly swap heights between images like they're playing musical chairs. The fix? When you ask ChatGPT to generate the prompt, just tell it explicitly about size relationships. Something simple like, make sure to describe the grandpa as larger and taller than the inventor girl works wonders. It's like giving mid-journey a gentle reminder about basic human proportions. When things go sideways, troubleshooting tips. I gotta admit one thing, this isn't magic and you're not going to get perfect results every time. That's just the nature of the beast. But when things go off the rails, here's your game plan. First rule, character consistency falls apart when characters become less prominent in the scene. It's simple math. Fewer pixels mean less detail, and less detail means mid-journey starts guessing. If your character is hiding in shadows or way in the background, don't expect miracle level consistency. You can see it happening in these examples. The grandpa in the shadows looks a bit off because he's blurred and darker, so mid-journey starts filling in the gaps with its best guess. Same thing with the girl in the background here. She's still recognizable as our character, but she doesn't look exactly like 
like herself when she's smaller and further away. If you want ultimate consistency, just tell ChatGPT to keep your characters side by side instead of trying to create depth and layers in the image. But here's the thing, sometimes those layers actually make your images way more interesting and dynamic. So if the slight inconsistency isn't a deal breaker for your project, just roll with it and enjoy the cooler composition. Even with equal framing and foreground detail, sometimes you will get an image that's almost right, but one character looks off. In this case, you can see that the grandpa's yellow cardigan is not right. Here is the second rule. Try the Remix Subtle option. You can adjust your Omni Reference Weight during the Remix to push more character consistency. It's like having a do-over button that learns from your feedback. If Subtle doesn't cut it, Remix Strong will reimagine the whole composition while trying to fix your character issues. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, you know? The reality check. Let's wrap up with the truth bomb nobody wants to hear, but everyone needs to know. There's always gonna be a balance between how much effort you put in and how consistent you can get. Even with Omni references being as good as they are, getting complex characters to look perfect in scenes together is still challenging. Think of it like this. You're essentially asking an AI to be a character designer, scene composer, lighting director, and continuity supervisor all at once. That's a tall order for any system, artificial or otherwise. So there you have it, your complete toolkit for mid-journey character consistency. We covered stitching, smart prompting, dialing in those settings, and how to fix things when they go sideways. Bottom line, it's a numbers game. The more you generate, the more gold you'll strike. These techniques just help you hit the jackpot more often. Want to try these amazing AI yourself? All links and resources are awaiting you in the description. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.